Okay, I'm back. We're live. Hi, guys. Happy. <laughs> it's still saying rotate your device. Anyway, whatever. Technology. It's Sunday of Labor Day weekend, and I want to wish you all an amazing weekend. Again, weekends are that time when it just, it's precious to really have a partner. And we really dodged a bullet here in South Florida. We almost had Hurricane Dorian, and it looks like it's come nowhere. It's not going to be anywhere near us. But if it is coming towards where you are, you know, we're, we're, our prayers are with you that it should pass quickly and just be no problem at all. So when things come up like this, hurricane and trauma and stuff like this, it's it's so great. It really is amazing to have a partner and it's amazing to have a life with someone that you can share, someone who has your back, someone who can help you, someone who's really there with you. And so what I want to talk about today is what happens after a divorce? How do you move on past divorce? Because um, every Sunday we're talking about another topic that is so relevant to the community. I didn't even introduce myself. I'm Barry Lyman, creator of the Meet to Marry Method, formerly Relationship Challenged. Believe me, I was in so many wrong relationships that I went into like kind of blindly that I thought they looked good on paper, and but I was really ill-equipped to find and maintain healthy love. It was all based for me on chemical attraction and looking good and really just ha having someone. And I wore rose-colored glasses and I wished and hoped these relationships would work out, but of course they, they never did. So you guys have been really uh, emailing me and posting in the community, PMing about, about what is up for you and what you want to get past the most. And one of those topics is about, oh, Barry, I've been, I'm divorced twice, and I keep finding the same situation, and I just hate dating. So divorce can be brutal, but I do understand that being in the wrong relationship is worse, so I get it. So what we're talking about here today is finding the right person, getting past divorce so that you can be in a totally different reality. Your marriage, I have clients that were married for so many years, many once or twice, a few, three times, many for long periods, like 20 years, 25 years. But it doesn't matter how long or how many times you've been hurt or disappointed. It can change. It can totally change. I see it every single day that's how I know that it's possible and, and I lived it. So let's talk about what happens uh, it, past divorce. How do, how do you get past it? Well, the first thing I want you to notice that is so important is, is your pattern, right? Your pattern and what happens. So we think that we get divorced, right? Because it was so awful, the person was emotionally unavailable, it was so boring, it wasn't your dream person, you wished and hoped it would work out, and you get divorced, and you think you're getting rid of the problem, right? How many of you can relate to that? You felt like you'd get divorced, and oh, life's going to be amazing, and next time will be different. How many of you can say, have experienced that? I know I did. I know I did. But what really happens post-divorce, for, for most of you, for most of us, is that you get divorced and you go into the next relationship and it's not any different. It looks like it's going to be different. It's a different person. They look different. They wear different clothes. They have a different background. But ultimately, the way you feel is the same, right? So, so we, we can see that we are in a pattern. And the real problem is not the people we're getting rid of. We are the common denominator of all the people that we choose. And I see it time and time again. I married one person, got divorced. I married the next person, and it was the same thing. Or I got divorced, and I started dating. And on the dating sites, I was meeting the same kind of people. One after another, after another, after another, after another. Losers, liars, low quality, 
people that cheat, people that don't want what I want over and over again. So we have to look at it. So if we are the problem, inviting in, attracting wrong people who are a, you know, they're ultimately a mirror to our own fears. We are doing it. So are you willing to say, okay, are you willing to, to give that I am the common denominator of all of these people? That if I married someone and I was in a marriage for a long time, I was there, I chose it, I was there, no one forced me to be there. I hoped, I wished it would work out, I tried, I tried, but the person didn't work out and then you do it again and you do it again. You gotta be willing to say, if you want to change past post-divorce and have a new reality, you have to say, okay, something's gotta change. If you can just get to that point, something has to change and what has to change is me, well, that is the biggest step because it's not anything in order to get past divorce. It's not about new strategies and dating a certain way and opening up to new kinds of people and going 10 years older or 10 years younger or trying a different religion. It's not any of that. It isn't. The first step is to say, okay, I, I, I'm, I am the root cause of my reality, of what is happening for me. And if you're wondering, well, how does a dating site know that I have this issue or that I am the cause of this, issue, this problem? Well, that's because it's a vibration. It's a vibration. When we have a block and we're creating something, we're attracting people who are a mirror to our fears, well, those fears are based on the past. It's based on past trauma. We can go into that about our fathers were not there, our mother was critical, my father died. Whatever that trauma is, it's still there if you're attracting wrong people. That's, that's the number one thing you have to be willing to say, okay, I am the creator of my life and I am making, it, I am, I am, I am making this happen. So number two, in order to move forward past divorce, we must become complete from the past. So I can hear it already. You might be thinking, oh, I'm already complete. I'm already complete. I talked about my ex in therapy. I talked about all the relationships. I'm complete, I'm ready. I'm telling you that if you are not with your true love, if you're not with your beloved, then you are not complete. You're not complete. I know you want to be complete and you can get complete, but completion is different than intellectually being complete. Oh, I'm done. Everything is fine. I'm ready. But when we see these patterns, we know that you're not ready. So completion, what is completion? Completion is really seeing that just because something occurred in the past, that it doesn't have to be the same in the future. Right? The past does not equal the future. Number two is that completion, conventional thinking says that time heals all wounds. But you know what? It doesn't. It doesn't. Conventional thinking is very disappointing. Conventional thinking ha will have you believe that you're ready and you're fine and that it's out there like all the songs and everything you read in magazines or just get out more or or be be more goddess like or 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 get inside the minds of men it's bullshit it it really is bullshit how do i know because i have clients who've been divorced for 20 or 30 years and they are not complete and then when they come into our program and they're doing the shifting they say holy shit i'm not complete and they get complete and completion is when you're really fine, you're really done, but not intellectually done. You are done. You could actually sit next to that person and know, okay, there's nothing there. There's an expression that you know that you're enlightened when your buttons can't be pushed. So if you're in fear, or you're in regret, or you're in the what if, or you're saying, oh, why did that person move on and I'm still single, I can tell you right now, you're not complete. So this number two step is to really get complete. Number one is know that it's your, it's your vibration 
it's your stuff that's inviting in the wrong people. And number two is that you're not complete. It means that the past is still impacting you. And if the past is impacting you in the present, then that's closing off the future. And how do we know if the past is impacting us in the present? Because we have fear, because we don't want to be abandoned, because we don't want to make a mistake, we don't want to get hurt again. And then we're putting up all these walls of protection and we're saying, I'm not getting out there again. I'd rather be alone. There's no one worth dating. And just not the truth. It's like, if you had a bad meal, do you stop eating? No, you just don't eat at that same place. So you don't eat the things that don't work for you. So when you're saying that, when you're being in that blame, avoidance, distraction, I'm gonna focus on work, you're not telling the truth. And the truth is, is that you want love. You want to find love. You want to find something totally different totally different. You want a real partner, someone who has your back, someone who shares your values, someone who wants what you want. Of course you do. You totally deserve it and you were born for it. And I'm telling you right now, it's possible. Every day, even an hour ago, someone posted, they said, I, I, I think I live at a time in history where there are no good hearted men. And to me, that is so sad. It is so sad because it's not true. It's not true. I work with men and women, and the men are saying, we're the women who are, who are good-hearted and really want partnerships. So we are inviting in, we are attracting unconsciously the wrong people. So if you wanna get past the past, past the divorce, which was, I get it, it was awful. The person was shit, they lied, they cheated, they were awful, but it takes two. Okay, it's always two. So we wanna go from being unconscious to conscious, to move into a conscious relationship, a different paradigm, a different reality, so to speak. So the next piece is I want you to consider not sugarcoating, like, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm ready, I don't need it, I don't want it. I'm gonna just focus on work and not in this lifetime, it's not, it's not, it's not healthy and it's not helping you. What we really want to do is have you become vulnerable and real, vulnerable and real. It's such a beautiful, beautiful thing. So we want, I want you to, if you want to find love, not I want you, if you want to find love, then what I recommend is that you tell the truth about it. And say, because once you start saying, I am getting married this year, I'm finding my life partner, the person to share my life with, the one who has my back, because that person, he or she is out there. As soon as you start saying that, you start enrolling the universe, your mindset, your actions. Now, God forbid, I'm not saying that your person is gonna fall out of the sky or happen magically. It's not, that's a big mistake people make. They pray, they meditate, they, they put it off, they avoid, they go on vacation, next year, next year, I don't need it. That's not what I'm talking about. It's not gonna just happen. It's going to happen with a plan. It's thought, it's speech, it's action. And again, the mistake people make is they think that they can just get a new outfit, find the person, get a dating coach who's gonna help you go out with him, don't go out with him. Go out with her, don't go out with her. You know, it's like looking for red flags. A lot of my clients, they had dating coaches, but what, what is that going to do when inside you still have an underlying limited belief, a fear, a real fear? Your father didn't, wasn't present for you. Your mother was really mean and critical. Your father was narcissistic. You had a trauma. That trauma is real. And here's the thing is that a lot of what we try to do to heal our traumas, past life regression, analyzing it, going over it, understanding it. In my experience, that doesn't solve it. It doesn't solve it. And then we think it's solved because we did certain things. But you need to do the right things. Getting past your divorce, you are not a victim. No one is a victim of being married to the wrong person. 
lots of shit happens. Lots of bad things happen. Trauma happens. You needed to be in that marriage to get here. You repeat it again because you still didn't have what it takes to create a conscious marriage. Just like in your career. You need to learn how to be in that career. You need to learn all the steps. You need to know what to do. I have people, clients in finance, in real estate, construction, doctors. Would you go in and operate on someone if you were not prepared? If you didn't sterilize, if you didn't take all of those steps to be ready to perform the surgery, would you just walk into the surgery and fake it? No, of course not. Of course not. Would you build a building that way? No, you need blueprints. You need an architect. You need the right steps to create that building. Do you pretend you don't want to build the building when you already signed a contract? Can you get people into mortgages if you don't pre-qualify? You know, I I'm driving the point home here. If you want to lose weight, what you have to be clear about, you want to lose weight. If you want to lose weight, clear out your refrigerator, <laughs> right? Get your butt to exercise. Learn about detox. Learn about gut health. There are ways that things are done effectively. So you have to learn how to actually do it. And just because you didn't learn in the past and because you weren't trained, guess what? You're not alone. You are totally not alone. No one really knows how to do it. I mean, I remember talking to rabbis and taking classes and, you know, in Judaism and, 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 but everyone knew that I was a relationship challenged person. They knew it. They knew that about me. Why? Because I kept doing it. So things need to change. If you're not engaging in dating in a new way, in really getting complete, in really speaking powerful words, if you're hanging out with negative people where you're all complaining about the dating sites and low quality people and dating apps, guys, that is not a way to be successful. If you were gonna run a marathon, let's say you're gonna run a marathon, and you were hanging around with people who were eating junk food, inactive, laying on the couch, would that be a way to win at, at, at running a marathon? No, no. In order to run a marathon, in order to build an amazing body, in order to create abundance, in order to do anything that's worth doing, you need to do it around a success-oriented framework. It's just how it is. And if you're choosing to be in a space where you're complaining and there's no one out there and men, oh, someone emailed me to say, oh, men are awful. There's no one we're dating. If you're willing to do that, then there's a payoff. There's a payoff to being negative Nelly, complaining, being cynical. I get that you had a shit show in your love life. I get it, I did too. But every day, I know that it's possible when you are willing to do what needs to happen. Here are the qualities of people who go from shit show relationships, long standing patterns of wrong people, negativity, regardless of how bad it was, if you were physically abused, if you had a lot of trauma, I get it. But it doesn't matter because that's not happening now. And there's a payoff to saying, oh, low quality people, dating sites suck, swipe sites suck, where I live sucks, everyone sucks. There's a payoff. And what do you think that payoff is? I'll give you a moment. Think about what is the payoff to thinking that, oh, what you want is not possible? Hey, Anna. So on my screen, you guys are sideways, <laughs> and it's, and I hope this is coming uh, widescreen, but if it's not, I'll fix it. So at the end of the day, we must get out of that paradigm of negativity and cynicism and step into one that is empowered and clear. So the qualities a person must have, oh, the payoff, back to the payoff, the payoff is, is you get to be right. You get to be victim. You get to not have connection. You get to avoid intimacy. You get to say, yeah, New York sucks, LA sucks, Tel Aviv sucks, Bogota, Colombia sucks, 
Toronto sucks for dating. It's the worst. Baltimore it sucks. And I'm using these examples because that's where I have a lot of clients. In the cities, in small towns, on islands. But it's not about that. So you get to be, you get to, you know, if you want to be that way, you there is a payoff is that you get to stay alone. So the people who find healthy love, they leave their comfort zones behind them. They leave their comfort zones behind and they're willing to say goodbye to negativity, bye to limited beliefs that are just not the truth. And they're committed, 100% committed to a bigger vision even when they don't know how it's gonna happen. All great people are stuck in the middle of something. Martin Luther King, Theodore Herzl, any, any person who's been stuck in something had a belief system that was bigger than the evidence they were gathering. Make sense? Yes, the evidence is that you were divorced, you had a horrible childhood, you, you're the dating sites spit out awful people, I get it. But you have to step out of that and get future focused. And when you get future focused, wow, you're creating something totally new and different but it takes courage it takes courage to step out of what you know for so many years and into something else where you could be held and loved and have a high frequency and a high vibration and a beautiful vision and hold on to that vision because can you see that that is high vibration and when we take that high vibration and we integrate the intellectual with the emotional in a practical way it's a beautiful thing so you got to do what works something different that works something new something different and that's what we do here that's what these conversations are about you notice i'm not giving you any band-aids oh do this strategy or that strategy or try this dating site or that dating site or or find a <clears throat> Find a new site or move to a place with more people because those band-aids aren't going to help you. Why? Because, because it is you creating what you don't want, right? We have to start again on the right foundation like building a house. Now conventional wisdom will say, oh, do all these things and pray and meditate and it'll happen when it happens. But I'll tell you, <clears throat> you know it. If you're here, then you know it. It won't. It doesn't just happen. It's not like in the movies. But you can create it. And that's what I'm suggesting to you is shift your mindset. Choose to believe. Get rid of those limiting beliefs. Step into a new paradigm. Take the new take new right actions. And and then it could happen. So that is what we do here in the community and I have a 90 day program that takes people from stuck to transformed and the good news guys is we're not fixing you Ugh, there's nothing to fix that's the difference between this and therapy therapy we're analyzing your understanding you know all the steps you get really smart about your past we're not doing that you don't need excuse me more work on yourself there's no work you need to do what we need to do is actually take stuff away. <laughs> remove the limited beliefs, remove where you're clogged, remove the fear, remove the evidence gathering. Because really, just to finish up, is when you're saying there's no one worth dating, like I took some notes here, there are no good hearted men, they all wanna use me. Is it really like an adult way of looking at things or is it more like, <gasps> There's no good men out there. There's no one worth dating. It's not fair. I'm just not going to do it. It's a little like, uh, like a child, right? So there is like, there's like a little kid in you that still is upset and not fair and I don't like it and I'm not going to do it and I'm, it's not meant for me. That's a little kid mentality. We want to shift that. We want to change that so you're the full you, the full, beautiful you, because there's only one you, right? And we want to really tap into that, remove the barriers, and, and it happens quickly. 
And then once we move the barriers and you're, you understand why you're repelling healthy love, because healthy love for sure is out there. And then you have a real plan. You know what you need in a relationship. You have a plan to find it. You know what you're doing. Then it becomes such a natural progression to take the right actions, the right steps. Wouldn't you agree if you're going to take the SATs, you have to study certain things? I mean, there are a zillion examples. You want to lose weight, you have to, you know, eat the right foods and get into the right mindset. So that's what we offer. The first step in doing this, if you want our help to do it, because we are the best at it, is go to this, watch the five shifts training. And the five shifts training is available. It's 45 minutes, invest that 45 minutes in yourself. Meet some, it's www.meettomary.com slash real love, one word. After you watch that training, if it resonates with you and you want to vibrate on this frequency and follow in the footsteps of the thousands of success stories who've come before you, watch that training. And at the end, it'll take you to a link to our calendar and we could talk. And on that call, we're going to do real strategy. We're going to do the best work that's ever been done on your love life. Your love life needs some shifting, right? Like what's really getting in your way? We'll look at your vision and we'll look at what's stopping you and talk about how to stop it. How to stop it so that you're not alone this holiday season, so that this is your last Labor Day alone. I mean, whether you work with me, you work with us, or you do whatever else it is that you wanna do, this is the foundation for creating something amazing in your love life. Okay, guys, so go to meettomarry.com slash real love, check it out, and know that I'm here on a Sunday morning because I believe in you. <laughs> I do. I know what's possible. I lived in both paradigms. All of the success stories, if you scroll down on this page and you go to the units, you can see tons of success stories. They're all real. They're all, they're, they all share. That's why they do these videos. And, and that's just the tip of the iceberg, right? We're, we do more every month. Um, and we have amazing things planned for you. And I have a seven day challenge coming up to start to change your mindset. But let's jump on a call. Watch the five shifts, meettomarry.com slash real love, and visualize, say, I am ready for love. I don't know how it's gonna happen, but I am choosing healthy love and real intimacy because it's my birthright. And you can have it, and it would be my privilege and the privilege of my team to help you get there. So have a great Labor Day. Be safe in the hurricane. Enjoy the day off if you're in the States or Canada. Know that this is your last one single. Okay, great. All right, guys, have a wonderful holiday, and I will see you next week. Tell your friends if you like the video, like it, and share your comments below. Bye, guys.